good morning i know i look like a pink marshmallow how is everyone doing welcome back to my channel i hope you've all been enjoying the weekly vlogs i've really been enjoying filming them for you guys and just being able to show you guys my like week to week life and a bit more realistic day in the life vlogs so yeah i've been really happy with the feedback that i've been getting too so if you've been enjoying them then please let me know in the comments don't forget to leave a thumbs up it actually means so much to me if you could do that right now like so much and if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button so that we can continue to have weekly vlogs together so going back to why i look like a pink marshmallow i'm going to the gym it's currently 8 a.m I'm actually off this week, so the way my rotor works, if you do a set of weekday nights, then you get the weekend off to recover. So weekday nights is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night through to Friday morning. You get the weekend off to recover. If you do weekend nights, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday night through to Monday morning. Then you get the rest of the week off to recover. Um, and it's kind of like they've culminated some of the zero days we call on the rotor from other places together to create a one week block so that the trainees like myself can have some time to a rest and recuperate but b work on things that we might need to work on in our zero days like ro uh, like portfolio um any conferences or things we want to go to if it happens to fall into that time um it is obviously time off but it's nicer when it's all in one go even if you want to take annual leave the zero days bundled together works much nicer because it's almost like you get like a week of annual leave without having to take the leave which i think is nice so anyway i'm on my zero week this week and it's quite a fun week today is wednesday yesterday in the morning i went for breakfast with celia which you guys would have seen in the last vlog and took the dog for a walk and then went to the gym and genuinely sat there for four hours and did work before my workout um which was really good and now i'm going for a pilates class which starts in an hour but i'm just going to take my stuff and do a little bit of life admin beforehand because i'm going to meet some friends for lunch afterwards um well like brunch lunch in town so that will be really fun and i can film some content for you guys so i can't wait and yeah i'm doing a former class loads of you been asking about my gym routine um there's no real like certain ev this day i do this this day i do this but mainly what i've been trying to do is go every day and the reason i say that is because i really can't go every day um but if i make that my aim in my head then i end up going four to five times a week and i'm going that many times for mainly mental health reasons i find it so good for my mental health i'm so happy when i go to the gym i'm so positive i've just realized whilst i've been talking that my voice is so croaky morning voice so i'm really sorry but yeah i go try and go as often as i can because it makes me in such a happier more positive mood and makes me much more productive in the day and it just feels like an accomplishment when you do it um i tend to do weight training and um like i'll warm up with 10 to 15 minutes of, of cardio sometimes i warm down with 10 minutes of cardio as well um and once a week i try and do a reformer pilates class so today is the day for the reformer pilates it is a burner but i really enjoy it okay off we go guys I was trying to film some b-roll and someone just walked past me and another person's walked past me in the gym car park. I'm embarrassed for life. Guys, you don't understand the mission I've been on to try and get a protein shake. So my gym didn't have peanut butter for the protein shake. So I was like, okay, there's a gym in the juice five minutes away. I'll just go and get more from there. Guys, it's taking me 15 minutes to find parking in Muswell Hill. Not happy about it, but at least I'm gonna get my protein shake now. I hope it's worth it. The 
this isn't as nice as I remember it. The David Lloyd cheek is much better. Also, rip off. This cost me nine pounds. Rip off. Having a little brunch. Exactly. You guys chose it. What's it called again? So it's called actually Plant and it's delicious by Ella and it's a vegan vegetarian restaurant there. It's actually so many nice things that you recommend and the matcha is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, random fun fact, but that Marriott hotel behind me is the one that's featured in the Friends episode. Ooh. Also, how cute is this jacket? I want to show you guys my outfit. Let me put my camera down. So my jacket is from Reclaimed Vintage on ASOS. My jeans are Zara and then my trainers are Adidas Gazelles that I got from ASOS the other day. So I've just finished um, brunch with the girls and well we just had tea and then I had to take a meeting for my um, team project for Harvard. So I literally just sat in the cafe, put my headphones on and joined this meeting. And I love my team, like everyone's so nice. And um, everyone's from different like surgical disciplines. One of my team members is even a dentist, she's not a medic, but like the course can be for medics and dentists. Um, but yeah, we've decided on a project that is um, regarding teaching for fertility, which is cool because obviously I'm the only gynae in the group. So um, they're asking me like loads of questions about stuff and I'm gonna send them like resources of things that we use over here in the UK because my team is all international. So it's really cool, I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm here on Oxford Street now. I'm gonna meet Sina and my mum and I'm just gonna enjoy exploring the city a bit. not been to Selfridges in a hot minute. I feel like a tourist, but I love it. I feel like when I, before I started specialty training, I had so much more time to shop <laughs> and come to central London, but now it feels like a luxury. Um, so yeah, so glad to be here. <laughs> Guys, look who I'm with! Hello everybody! You haven't said hi properly to my vlogs in Hello ages. Hello everybody! Guys, I look at her you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I should say thank you. So, so done her Invisalign. Yes. Oh my god. How beautiful. There was lunch. Oh, far away from each other, <laughs> I'm in an explanation. Um, and now I'm so happy, I love my smile. You look beautiful. And I think it's very important you love your smile. I agree. Yes. As we are both clients of Seoul <laughs> uh, for our Invisalign, I would say I 1000% recommend her. My mum's going to have whitening now and then bonding. I'm still deciding whether or not to bond. Sol thinks I should leave my natural smile as it is, but I think I'm probably going to go for some bonding. So anyway, um, we're by Harris now. We're going to go inside to the food court and have something to eat. I'm so hungry. I haven't had anything since that um, really gross Joe and the Juice earlier. But um, yeah, I'm going to drop my bag and then we're going to shop, drop our shopping bags in the car and then going to go and eat.
designer fancies the chicken grill and I wanna try I wanna try the ramen so my mum has stayed with me and we're having the ramen and Sina's literally sat opposite us having the chicken. <laughs> um, it's kind of cool how there's so many different like food choices here in the Harrods um, food hall but like you can't like mix and you can't sit here and eat from a different like one of you eat one and the other one it's not like a food court it's a food court um so yeah we can't mix and match but they've got sushi fish and chips meze and skewers the grill which is incredible which is right in front of us i'll show you and then we're at the new ramen bar which for me is incredible because i love ramen so i'm so excited i've been wanting to try it as well Guys, here's the, the hey. child who was sent away at dinner. <laughs> they, they left literally, I was sitting on my own. And no, we didn't so leave funny. you. I said from the start, by the way, I didn't like the ramen that much. But My food was delicious. I wanted to try the ramen bar at Harrods. I can give you my honest opinion now that the sweet waiter is not in front of me because the waiter was so kind, bless him. But um, the ramen bar at Selfridges is so much better. Like, not even comparable. I wouldn't come back to this one. I wanna say. This one was more expensive. So two ramens and an edamame was 80 pounds. I think you could probably get the same for. You could probably get the same for 40 pounds. Today, me and loud noises is not it. Uh, some guy whispered in my ear, hello, welcome to Burberry. And I got really scared because I didn't see him. He was behind me. And now the motorbike. Basically, I'm really proud of myself. We went to, I, Sefi went to the uh, ramen, ramen bar. bar and my mum joined her. And then I was like, no, you know what? I actually don't want ramen and I don't want to sit here and have like fake try <laughs> ramen. I just don't want it. So I was like, I really want to have the grill and I want to try their rice and chicken because I always get a burger there. And therefore, You've never had their rice and chicken? No, and I went. Never? And, no, yes, have you? you? No. Yes, no, you I don't. haven't. I've only had the burger. I always oh. get the burger. Then what together you had the burger? Yes, I know. Me and you always get rice and chicken yeah, and burger yeah. and we and share. their rice and chicken was <laughs> so delicious. I mean, I'm so proud. I can't of believe you've never had it. I'm, I'm glad. So, if you'd said from the I'm start so you'd never had it, I, I would have told you. Well. I'm so happy. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get influenced by this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hashtag influence. But anyway, guys, you know I love a ramen. Like I, I love it. Oh, you've got sick pictures. Oh, I can take it on my camera on this. Yes. Okay, let me, guys, we're going to use the camera. But long story short, don't waste your money on this one. Go to the one at Selfridges, Tonkotsu. It's so much better. Sina and I are at the gym. I thought you had my hair band, you know, which is technically yours, but I think Stina. I was going to, oh, I was going to say your audacity to call my hair bands, they're plural, there's two. Both of them, I can't find them, where are they? I put them in the wash. You, so you, you sweat it, you sweated on them. Do you not wear them to the gym? Yeah, but why did you have to do both at once? Because they stank. <laughs> You've got a sweaty head. <laughs> um, yeah, we're sat at the gym. I'm doing work. I'm doing portfolio stuff. I'm sitting here having um, 
I think I think I'm literally gonna be stuck here until I have to leave and then come back to do my workout at prime time, which is stupid, but I just have so much to do and I woke up so late today guys, I couldn't fall asleep last night. So I went to bed so late. Why did you go to bed so late? I just couldn't fall asleep. Which is like you know what it was? I think it's that nap that I had. I napped for like an hour from yeah, no two hours from eight till ten. And <laughs> I guess that just ruined my um, sleep. So anyway, we're here now. And yeah, I'm doing some admin and then we're gonna go work out. I have an appointment and then I'm gonna come back and work out. Yay! So I've come back home from the gym. I did a really nice gym and spa day after all of that admin that you guys saw me do with Sina and came home, had dinner with the family and then filmed a very fun video with Sol and Sina, which I'm so excited for you guys to see. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've literally cried off my makeup. I laughed so much. Anyway, tomorrow is Friday and I'm going on a city break with one of my best friends, Nat. We are going to Lisbon in Portugal. Let me show you guys what I've packed in my suitcase. So it's a weekend trip, so I only have like a small suitcase. For like reference, this is my hand, right? So it's not big at all. I've got my Adidas sneakers. I've got my makeup bag. I've got a pair of shoes. Under here, I've got some handbags. And then here I've got underwear and pajamas, my evening outfits my daytime outfits and that's everything really so i'm gonna end this vlog out here i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really means so much to me especially if you made it this far thank you so much and if you have made it this far then please hit the subscribe button too so that we can continue to be online buddies if there's anything else that you guys want to watch then just comment down below and i'll try my best to film that for you i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye